What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out this video. Um, not necessarily like a dazzled or disappointed or anything, it is going to be a review. I am gonna show you swatches of the new Kylie Royal Peach Palette, um, but it's going to be more of thoughts. Um, I will just start right off the bat by telling you um, that, and you've probably heard this left and right because it is what is all the talk right now on YouTube and on Instagram and that is the smell of this product so what I'd like to do is go through and give you swatches kind of tell you um, because I'll just tell you right up front it does smell and it does smell very very strong so I want to tell you what it smells like I want to tell you um, kind of give you my thoughts on whether I think you'll be sensitive to it or not um, so let's just jump right into this so the box comes like this, like I already showed. The back does have the shade names. Um, once you pull the palette out of the box, this is what it looks like. It just has her name. So the box is the only um, part of the product, I guess, that has the eyes. Um, and then, so the palette has just her name, like I said. And then again, on the back, it does have the uh, names of the eyeshadows. Um, so you open it up, almost don't even want to open it up. Okay, I have used this once. <laughs> and you know, y'all know when I try to do a review for you, or when I do a review for you, I try to use it, you know, at least a few days just so that I can give you a, like a pretty good idea of how I felt it to work. Um, in different, you know, scenarios with maybe a different primer or maybe just using the different shades of different colors. Okay, I've only used this once, and I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to use it again. That's so sad to say. Anyways, um, you open it up, and it has the mirror right here, which is very um, different from her other palettes. So I'm going to hold it away from me because it absolutely reeks. Um, her other palettes don't have the mirror up here, and this one does. This one's a very different kind of format than her previous ones. It has the brush down here, and then you've got six, sh uh, 12, sorry, 12 shades up here. Um, like this. The previous palettes I want to say had nine shades and they had it in rows of three. This one <laughs> um, has it in a very different format. So um, right off the bat I am thinking that the reason this smells so funky is, I, now I don't know this for a fact, I don't know if she switched her, um, I guess not warehouse, but the producers of her makeup or maybe even just her eyeshadows. Because the packaging on this is different, I don't know if she kept the same um, producers or if she moved um, companies. I, I have absolutely no idea. I've not done research on that. So I'm just kind of giving you an assumption. Um, but anyways, I, I'm not certain what the deal is. But let's go ahead and start swatching these things. Um, and then, yeah, and then we can go on with further thoughts. Here are the first four. Let me go to the back so I can see what they're called. It's Sorbet, Seashell, Peachy, and Royal. That's those four right there. The next four are Queen Bee, Duke, Duchess, and Sandy. That's what those look like right there. The last four are Mojito, North Star, Crush, and cinnamon. And that's those last four right there. So I don't know if you could tell or not, um, those swatches don't appear near as vibrant as the swatches that are being like publicized. Um, I follow Kylie Cosmetics on Instagram and I feel like Pretty frequently they're posting pictures of swatches of the palette like you know on somebody's arm and I'm like mine doesn't look that pigmented I wonder you know either that took a lot of swipes or your palette is better than mine I'm not sure um, but they just do not perform they don't uh, they're not on par to what I really expected especially because Kylie before this was released maybe three or four months before she had said she was about to release release her favorite palette Ever, or her favorite palette out of all the ones she's released. So I'm really surprised that considering the sort of lack of pigmentation, the smell that this, I mean hers probably doesn't smell, but um, 
she may not even know up until this point that um, this does smell as bad as it is. Give her the benefit of, benefit of the doubt, I don't know. At this point, I know Kylie Cosmetics has been inundated. Um, customer service has been inundated with these types of complaints, so at this point she has to know. But anyways, that aside, I'm really surprised that she'd say this is her favorite. I can see the color scheme, I can see why it would probably be my favorite too if the pigmentation was better. I mean, they're beautiful shades, um, but you would expect a little bit more pigmentation. As far as the brush, it's okay. Um, I probably wouldn't gravitate toward it very much. It's a blending brush, and I did use it. Um, it says Kylie on the... Um, I don't even know what these are called. What are these called right here? I know this is the ferrule right here, but anyways, where you hold the brush, <laughs> Um, it says it has her name on it right there. The um, bristles are kind of, I'm trying to think how I can explain it to you, prickly, I guess. They're not really entirely smooth. Um, it reminds me a lot of the MAC blending brush. Which one is it? The, is it the 217? Um, that, but it, obviously the MAC one is so much softer. Um, I, yeah, I just, it's a little bit prickly, it's a little bit, it's not incredible, so I probably wouldn't use it too, too often. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, I used it yesterday, I'm not using it today, so I can't tell you that it's the eye look I have on my eyes today, because it's not. In addition to that, my pans, um, I don't know if everyone is, everyone else is having the same problem, my pans move. So for example, you know when you buy the individual pans of eyeshadow, for example, MAC, and you drop them in a, um, well, my MAC palette where you can customize, it has the individual little holes and you drop them in. So when I grab product, the little pan moves. Okay, that's what this one does too. Let me see if I can show you. Um, let me see, I'm gonna get up close here. Do you see how that's moving? That's not supposed to be doing that. See my, and that's not, my finger is literally moving the pan. I don't know if you can see, I'm hoping you can tell. Um, literally every single one is doing that. It's, I can slide it up and down. It's almost like the pan, the little circle, doesn't have enough, it's not fitted in there properly, so it's not snug with the hole. It's like there's a little bit of space within the circle that's giving it that room to move. Now I did try seeing if they'll fall out and they don't, so they're either, it's either magnetic or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I don't feel like it should be doing that. That's a little strange to me. Anyways, so guys, that is a real quick kind of review. Um, if you by chance are on the fence about picking it up, I would not pick it up. I would wait till they correct this issue. I am pretty sure they'll correct it. Now whether, for those of us that have purchased it, whether they'll correct it for us or not, I don't know. What I'm going to chalk it up to is a loss, which is a pretty sad loss because it was $45. So that's a lot of money. Um, that's, yeah, we're not even going to go there. But I'm going to consider it a loss because Kylie Cosmetics does not take returns. And from what I understand, people that are contacting customer service are not getting responses, which is weird. And again, it could be that they're just so inundated with these complaints that they have not been able to just catch up with everybody. But I'm going to consider this a loss if you, I'm pretty sure they're going to correct this going forward. If you have not already picked it up and you're on the fence, if you're wanting to pick it up, hold off. Don't waste your money because quite frankly, I'm not going to gravitate towards this at all. Like I, I don't know if I will ever use this thing again. It smells so bad. I mean, really, really bad. I have read complaints for people. Now, I don't have a super sensitive, uh, super sensitivity to smells. That's why when products do have some sort of odor, I do tell you whether it's good or bad because there are some of y'all who um, are very, very sensitive to that, you even have an allergy. And so um, me, I am not uber sensitive to those kinds of things and even it bothers me so much. I don't even want to open it. I was kind of scared to put it on my eyes yesterday during the day. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope it's not burning my eyes because it seriously smells like spray paint. Um, on steroids. It smells really, really bad. I'm not talking like it smells 
stale or anything like that. It smells like chemicals, which is very, very scary because that's your eye area is something you don't, it's an area you don't want to mess with. <laughs> and so that's how bad it smells. So hold off if you haven't already picked it up. For those of y'all who have, I'm in that same boat with you. <laughs> um, if you do find out a way to get this resolved, if customer service does reach out to you, please let me know so that you can, um, if you don't mind sharing what I need to do to get this resolved on my side too. All right, guys. Well, I wish this were a happier video. I wish this were a more, you know, I would have loved to have been dazzled by this product. Um, definitely not the outcome I expected on this. <laughs> but let me give you the verse of the day before I let you go. It comes from Lamentations 519 and it says, You, Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures from generation to generation. Okay, guys, I hope you've had a great day. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, um, or at least consider doing so. It's just that red box um, that is linked to my uh, video. Just hit that red subscribe button, and that way you're notified of any future videos that I do post. Um, I'd love to have you on this journey with me. Um, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Michelle's Glamour, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.